Okay, so you got the drip, drip, drip of excess agua. Okay. And your knobs, this one you can see it's turned all the way back. This one's, and if you feel the water, you can feel, usually feel if it's hot or cold. This is feeling cold. So it's likely it's this one here that's turned all the way back. First thing we have to do is take this cap off and then shut the water off to open up this valve. Get yourself a little kit, a washer kit, and you'll probably find a good washer that'll fit in there. You might need some lubricant. Spray a little in here and make sure everything's kind of loose. Get your screwdriver. Take that cap off or that uh, handle off. And um, if you're lucky, it'll come off. You may have to use a heat gun to get it loose. But that's basically where okay. it starts. Okay, plot thickens. I'm trying to sh figure out where the water shut off is. And what do you know? It's way under here. And it's leaking. No wonder why the water bill is so high. And we got a dripping shower. Background action. Okay, so uh, yeah, so uh, basically you just take your little crescent wrench. Get that thing loose, pull that thing off, and take a look at the washer. You see that washer? Looks like it's had better days. Get in here, check that seat. So that seat, stick your finger in there, see if you feel any rough edges. Feel any rough edges or see any rough edges? That seat needs to come out. Basically, it's like a little Ellen head thing and you can pull it out. Uh, but anyway, that seat is good. So we're just going to replace this washer. Pretty easy, self-explanatory. Just take your screwdriver, take that screw out, put your new washer in, you're good to go. Okay, so apparently this is, that's where the feed line is. Goes under. The boss says, dig that line out, see where it ends. Right, okay. So there's a drip under here, and this is the main shutoff. I turned it back on, and now we hear it dripping down here. So apparently there's some plumbing leak inside on one of the valves under the house that's leaking. Uh, some fitting that, because uh, uh, the shower's right here basically, the shower tub. So there's a plumbing fitting that leads to the shower tub that's leaking under the house at this point. Because when I had this shut off, I couldn't hear this dripping. Yeah, so there's a plumbing leak in there. I'm going to have to pull this off and take a look under there. Okay, so this, I got this to quit. I got a, like a quarter turn on that and it's quit. So, let's turn this on. This is the one that feeds the house. And then check the kitchen sink. And then I gotta pull this screen off and look under there and see where it's leaking. Tasty weeds around here. I think that is a wild, a wild onion. Okay, this one's good. I, I picked this little heat gun for six bucks. It's a whatever. What is it? Uh, embossing tool I had to heat up the cap to pull it off basically and it seems to be working fine now no drips looking good 
So, next thing I might do is uh, see if I can get those handles loose. On the least. Okay, so I got the handles off. I used my little heater tool. And so this is going to require a plumber's tool, which I don't have with me. It's basically a long socket that can get in there and pull that valve out. And then we can look at the uh, washer. Um, but the water is on at this point. And you can see it's, it's actually dripping in two places. It's dripping down here too. Uh, but uh, it's not dripping very much at this point. It is dripping. Okay, so it drips from here down to there. So it does. And then sometimes if you just hold that up and set that up, it'll fill that line up. And that has a temporary effect. Um, another thing you can do is, worst comes to worst, you could theoretically pull that thing off and put a shutoff valve on it. Basically, like a outside water hose spigot. Worst case scenario. And you look at this. This is see how loose that is. That's that's probably why it's leaking down below. It's probably got a bad solder joint somewhere in one of those fittings. Okay, well, let's see if we can take a look. Yeah, so we got this stuff pulled off. Well, let's put a light in here and see if we can see anything. Well, at least there's not a huge pool under there, what I can see. Um, looks like about four cups dripping straight down from there. It's not dripping from the P-trap. It's got to be dripping from the valve. And it's kind of mucky in there. It's going to be a cover all day for me if I get down there. So... We can't see where it's dripping from because just the way this thing's set up, I have to crawl in there. So it's dripping basically straight down there. It's not dripping off that drain at all. And it looks like I can't see what those. Uh, it looks like galvanized pipe, but. Hard to say what the uh, water uh, the feed lines are made out of uh, for that tub. That's the pea trap for that. And so, plot thickens.